kama kuna wasonyiro hakuna maji kama kuna maji hakuna maisha kama hakuna maisha hakuna mifugo siku hizi kifika wakati kama huu hatubati maji watu wanaenda kama kilomita 40 kutafuta maji maji imekuwa kidogo na imekuwa chafu sana zamani wasonyiro ikiwa nyingi na kuaga na maji mzuri mpango wa Mungu ni mwingine. Ataweza kutupangea ala kuna tunyasia. Na la sasa sisi hatujii kama atachukua muda kadi. These are just some of the reasons why representatives from pastoral communities in Laikipia, Samburu and Isiolo counties planned for the dual camel caravan, an activity to raise awareness on the plight of the Iwasonyiro River ecosystem. Maji anachapuka na kwa sasa kisima moja ndio watu wanachota na wanyama yote anachota anakula pale. Sai watu kombola na gafasa wapandi na sababu maji haifiki huko. With its sources mainly from Mount Kenya and the Aberdare range of mountains, Iwaso Nyiro is a key source of social economic livelihood for about 3 million Maasai, Samburu, Borana, Rendile, Turkana and Somali communities. Kutoka leo paka tarehe 14 huyu ndio kiongozi yenu have come here so that we do this project of conserving the this water flagged off simultaneously from Merti in Isiolo and at El Naboli in Laikipia the two camel caravans led over 200 pastoralists through one of the most hostile environments found in Kenya I'm an advocate activists in development in the communities. If the pastures are the problem, water catchments are drying up. The young and the old, among them volunteers, activists, elders, women, girls and camel handlers, trekked along the Iwasonyura River on a mission to draw attention to the looming calamity facing the people who largely rely on waters from Iwasonyura. Tuna ndanga pamoja ili nipate matibabu ya dharura Coincidentally this event took place at a time when the world was celebrating International Day of the World's Indigenous People Under the United Nations 9th of August of each year has been set aside to promote and protect the rights of the world's indigenous peoples Midway to the destination, this is one of the caravans arriving at Gotu from Merti. Meaning a hole where water falls into, just next to the Iwasonyura River, it is one of the catchment areas. Despite the fact that they appear tired, some of the participants found time in the evening to expound on why they were involved in this activity. Hii mtoni ikifungwa kitu kwanza sisi tukuhusisha. Tukuhusisha kabisa. Ni mzuri ingefaa serikali tuhusisha tukuhusisha. Damu nataka lakini Among other issues, the locals are deeply worried about the proposed construction of a multi-billion mega dam at Old Onyiro. This, according to Kenya's Vision 2030, will also pave way for the establishment of a resort city that will offer similar services to those found in Las Vegas in the US or the Middle East, Dubai. Besides hata na mega dam, tunafikiria bengine imekatishwa matributary zile inatoka sehemu zingine. So kwa sasa ile lebo ya ile maji ambaye tulikuwa tunatumia imepungua zaidi ya 80%. Wafugaji watakuwa na kimbe wapi? Mpaka kule Southern Ethiopia. Na kule watakuwa wanaongeza pressure mingi kule na inaweza leta pia eh, conflict between countries. Sasa tunalia tunalia. Tunasema isijengwe lakini ikijengwa ile block itajengwa itajengwa naye ni sisi. Wasonyiro kama nakatwa Although they carried along some tents, most trekkers slept out in the open. Each caravan had volunteers who were in charge of security and food, among other duties. 
expert camel handlers, first aiders, cooks, and licensed security personnel drawn from various communities formed a strong caravan team that was meant to assist participants walk through the semi-arid region. This is John Pasulan from Olnaboli village in Iwaso. At the age of nine years, he's the youngest participant in the 2014 Camel Caravan. Uh, camels are good animals. They give us milk and meat. I must say these kind of animals are drought resistant. And more so they are very cheap to keep, very, very expensive to buy. Camel is an animal that most pastoral communities rely heavily on. It can withstand the toughest conditions on dry land, one of the reasons why it was chosen to be part of this campaign trail. This animal is the primary source of transport, milk, meat, wool, and hide in most communities in northern Kenya. It's kind of a land cruiser to me. Can carry up to more than 1,000 kilos. And they take a long time before they drink water. They are the sheep of the desert. There is a very strong relationship between water and the educational development of the girl child. In such communities, the fetching of water is solely the work of women and girls, and when its availability is a challenge, this impacts negatively, especially on those who are responsible for looking for it. They are thinking of a girl as as a, as a property to, to the men. And as a boran, boran girl, we, we have a lot of challenges. For example, like early marriage. My name is Rini Kamau. I'm a journalist and I'm working following the caravan just to get the story. This story, it's a story. It's a story that can sell. It's a story that can win. It's a story that if passed across, not only Kenya, but the world will listen. It's really what the cause coming that it's coming from the community itself. I know that if we don't address this issue promptly, we can have fights here. Unaware of the event, these armed members from the Samburu community were a bit concerned about having the caravan in their neighborhood. This is an example of youths who own illegal guns in this region. There was a tense moment as a caravan from Merti decided to take a break here. Ironically, the theme of the Kamal caravan was conserving Iwasonyura River for peace and prosperity. Hey, Hassan, kutoka Marzi, Sola County. Sisi ni jamii moja, ambaye maisha yetu inategemea mifugo. Na hii mifugo inategemea nasi. Kwa sasa ni muhimu sana sisi zote tuchikamane, tulio kwa mwenyezi mungu, na kilio yetu mwenyezi mungu sike, wasonyiru isifungwe. The adverse effects of climate change and the growing pressure on Iwaso Nyura River directly affects the community's peaceful coexistence. After covering a distance of 250 kilometers, the two caravans finally met at Archer's Post along a section of the newly tarmacked Cape to Cairo Highway. Joined by well-wishers, they proceeded to mark the end of the 2014 Camel Caravan at a venue not far from the Iwaso Nyuru. This is where one can easily visualize the amount of water that has reduced over time. According to the locals, the normal water level used to reach just below the concrete slabs of this old bridge and transport was occasionally disrupted during rainy seasons due to flooding, one of the reasons why the height of the new bridge was raised considerably. 
This is a clear indication of how low the water level has fallen by about 15 feet. There were several cultural presentations before community representatives from Laikipia, Samburu, and Isiolo reiterated their concerns on the plight of the Iwaso Nyiro River ecosystem to the few political leaders who bothered to attend the function. Wakitaka kututengenesea dam, muto ya Iwaso Nyiro kuna mahali inaishiaga. Waende wa shimbe dam uko. Ndiyo yo dam itusaidie na uko mbele. Tulime nae mashamba, tupande nae mamiti, Mambo ya resociety ni kimila ya watu kutoka inje ambaye wakikuja hapa hawe haipata haishikani na uh, culture yetu hiyo resociety ina wasungu wanajenga huko sisi wa Afrika maskini hata watchmen sisi hata wale wanafikia sakafu sisi hii <laughs> wasongira wanatukatia kwa nini kupatia yale watu wanajuesa ati wanaenda kuweka mamaua yao. Kwa hivyo hata wale wananunua, tunataka kuambia tunauliwa hapa. As long as they must survive and will still survive, it's for the world to just appreciate that this is like any other, um, other model of production. It's viable, ecologically sustainable. All that we need to do is, is to put investment in livestock and pastoral areas. I think it's okay and it will be okay.